Okay, I think I have a solution here. Uh, we could have used this for the columns as well, but we're just going to use it for the footings so that I can show you how to use the tool and then you can use it every time after to make your life easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to structure and this works for more than just the footing. You can do it with columns and other types of elements as well. But I'm going to hit the isolated, so the pad footing, make sure I've got the right one and then all the way at the back here, multiple at grids. So I'm going to click that and basically here what I want to do is I'm going to hold down control. First I'm going to click one. So I want my footings to appear a lot. Basically every intersection of grids that I select will place a pad footing. So I've clicked one grid line. Now I'm going to hit control. You got a little plus next to your cursor and I'm going to click there. So now it's going to put a pad footing there. There. Pad footing. Here. Oh shit. Here. <laughs> This is not working. Okay. Uh, let's go with it. What are we going to do here? Hmm. Well, we're going to get a lot of footings, that's for sure. Okay. Can I unselect specific ones? Oh wow, no, I unselected the whole thing. Okay, I'm just gonna hit finish. What do we got? Are they at the wrong level? Oh, lovely, they're at the wrong level too. Okay, so this is fixable by clicking one, select all instances, visible in entire view, and I want them all to be at the top of footings. Apply. Something is off here. Height offset 2000. So I'm going to select all of these guys. Unselect the, these things. Height offset should be zero, I believe. Apply. Okay. Where did that put us? So all the columns we want seem to have footings. Now we got a bunch of extra ones hanging out here, so I'm just going to delete those. Okay, I'm not sure if this saved us time or not, but at least now you know a different method of um, adding things. Uh, one thing I would I would explore if I had more time here, I would pause and um, try to do isolated and see what the at creates footings at the base of selected structural columns. Ah, oh, that would have been way better for us. Okay, so you know what? Just so that I'm thorough, I apologize for taking up more of your time. Uh, I'm gonna do it that way. Sorry, I'm gonna have to pause this for a second.